Okay, hello. I uh, wanted to show uh, you guys something that I've learned in the short time that I've been playing. It's regarding short irons. Um, what I'm going to do is... Put the shot view there on this grid line. I don't know if you can see the grid line sort of running across my screen there. Using the Orion. And then swapping out to the Spectre. See, so you get a totally different ball flight. So swapping out to, in fact, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sort of pull back to minimum club. I'm gonna set the ball, uh, the shot view on that grid line, swap out to Cyclone, you can see a marginal difference there. If I just zoom in, there's a tiny difference. Hide grid. Hide grid. You can see there's a tiny difference right there. Show grid continuously. Just use the Apple voice grid. Switch out to the Rattler. And we're back online, the same as the, uh, I think that was the Cyclone. So we'll switch to the Orion. And you can see it's a sort of different flight. Um, really interesting. You'd think a higher ball flight has more wind effect, but it seems that the lower ball flight of the Spectre, you get a, a, a much bigger secondary push. Um, so that's the um, short irons, which I've always struggled with short iron shots. So what I'm gonna do is just change the driver. And with the Fusion, I'm gonna move to the RB, which I know won't pull me back in yards. You can see you've got the same uh, same ball flight there. Um, what I'm going to do is just pull back to sort of near minimum. Put the crest of that ball flight on the... How are we going to do this? It's sort of... It's quite difficult to, to sort of do this, but... Um, got trees in the way, maybe try it from the other side. Maybe do it like this. So put that grid line right on that. I'm going to switch out to the Outlaw. Same ball flight, Highlander. Same ball flight, holy driver, same ball flight. Pull back to the route, which is my preferred club. I'm gonna to pull to near minimum. I'm gonna set the grid line just on the crest of that ball flight again, sort of there. Uh, Capitan. Slightly lower. Apollo. Slightly lower. Viking. Somewhere in between. Hellfire. Back to the same as the root. Again, really interesting. Now we're gonna do long iron. Just gonna set 
near minimum so that I know when I switch clubs it's not going to affect the distance. Try and get a good look here. Um, there you can see just in the gap in the trees, the Bigfoot trajectory. So we're going to switch that out to the Pegasus. Slightly higher. Switch out to the Iron Maiden. Slightly higher again. Lightning Rod. Slightly higher. Just go back to the Bigfoot. Slightly lower. Trailblazer. Slightly lower. So you can see there's definite differences in the trajectories, how flat the ball flights are, or how high the arc is of the ball flight and the shot view. So uh, what's that going to do? What does that mean? Well, that means that uh, you're going to get a different effect. It's either going to be in the air longer or it's going to get a, a different sort of bounce. Because if you imagine, um, let's say, let's say we had a right to left wind here. And if I set up there and just shoot, let's just say it's about seven rings over here, I would land. If you imagine the shape of this ball flight. Uh, it wouldn't come down like this, see this shot view here, wouldn't just be shifted over because it's sort of starting here and sort of difficult to draw like this. It moves sort of like that. So it would start like start like this and sort of end like that. Does that make sense? I think it does. So it changes the shape of your ball flight. So you will then get another bounce your second bounce, which will sort of go something like that. So you can see it'll exaggerate on the second bounce. Whereas if you have a, 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 a club with less wind effect, you'll get that. And then your second bounce, instead of being there, I'm just going to duplicate that, set it as a different colour, will be... Sort of more like that. So, let's say with the Spectre, as a different ball flight, and I know from uh, studying the game that the Spectre has um, more wind push. Seems like a, a different ball flight. You'd think that the flatter ball flight would be affected more. Uh, sorry, less, but it seems like it's affected more. Similarly, the uphill shots get affected more by wind, and that's due to the um, sort of shape. If you imagine if you was hitting uphill, you'd be hitting up in the air, that kind of thing. And if you're hitting downhill, you're sort of leaning forwards and, and hitting downhill. So downhill shots definitely get affected less. And you can see that the difference between clubs, you know, your first landing spot is going to be the same if you adjust correctly so if you're going for a dunk you know um your first landing spot it's all right but if you're playing a run out shot this here is really important you're going to get much more secondary wind effect on summer club some clubs than others um i hope i've explained that quite well 
it's quite difficult to um, sort of show you what I mean but the club that I really find the difference on is the short iron and that's you know if I just I don't know put that to the top of the screen right there so that's the crest of the um, ball flight is right at the top of the screen and then just switch out to the spectre you'll see a much different shaped ball flight and bizarrely you seem to get a totally different run out um, after you know the, uh, the the wind effect the secondary wind effect so it looks the same you know just look at the position of the second bounce there um, looks the same but acts totally differently and if you've played other golf games you can forget what you know from the other golf games because it doesn't sort of translate to this game and the, uh, the, uh, the, the wind effects are totally different something to be mindful of I see a lot of people using the Spectre I started off with the Spectre because I thought Oh, look at that fantastic maximum backspin stop it dead um, but the more I play the game the more I realize the benefit is in the lesser secondary wind effect um, much worse shot view not as much range on the club but a definite um, sort of truer um, result after your wind adjustments so I hope that makes sense I'm just trying to sort of pass along some of the knowledge that I've learned in the short space that I've been playing and I hope it helps some of you in your club selections thank you for watching